Hey Artland, how's it going? So, in today's video, I want to show you guys how to draw an Akami from Fantastic Beasts. Now, this was a really cool creature from the movie, and it was almost kind of like a snake, dragon, almost even kind of like a bird, too. And I'm going to show you guys how to draw the full body of the Akami. Now, to start off with this, we're going to begin with the eye. So starting right up here, I'm going to draw a little line that's just going to kind of curve up and down like this for the eye. Then I'm going to make a little line that kind of curves up like this. Now right above it, I'm going to add a little curved line for the eyebrow, or the eyelid I should say. And then they're going to have kind of like a long line that's just going to go kind of right around their face. So I'm going to draw a line that's just going to go up and that's just going to kind of go down to here. And then over here, I'm going to draw a line that goes out and then it's going to kind of go in. And this is going to be where the other eye is. And then starting right here, I'm just going to make a line that's just going to kind of go out and it's going to kind of curve down like this. Now for the mouth, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve up and then they almost kind of come to like a smile. Then I'm going to draw a line that's going to go down and then it's just going to kind of curve up and this is going to come right around here. Now, right above the eye, they have these little horns. So starting here, I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve down and up. And that's just going to kind of come back to here. Now, they have all these really long, kind of crazy, pointy feathers. So to do this, you just want to kind of draw all these different size, little kind of pointy, skinny, feather shapes, kind of put them behind the horns. And then we're going to draw another horn. So you just want to kind of curve up and out and then come back like this. Then I'm just going to add a few more of these kind of like skinny little feathers down here. And then let's start on the body. So starting here, I'm going to add a couple little kind of curved lines just to kind of show where there's some little wrinkles. And then starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve down like this. Then I'm going to just kind of curve this up and around like this. Now, starting right along here, I'm going to draw a line, and I'm just going to kind of follow the same shape that I just drew. I'm just going to kind of draw this all the way along here, and then just kind of curve it around here. Now, when I get to here, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start on this side, and I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve around to here. And then I'm going to take this and kind of do the same thing, just kind of curve it around. Now I want to kind of jump over this, so I'm going to look right here and I'm just going to kind of hold my marker right above this and then just kind of draw a line that's just going to kind of go up. Same thing here, just kind of hold my marker right above this and then I'm just going to go up and I'm going to make it really skinny as I get towards the end. Now. Starting right here, the Akami has some really cool kind of wings on its body. So I'm going to put these just a little bit higher up. They're usually they're kind of back here a little bit more, but since we have some of this cool detail with the tail, I'm going to put them just a little bit higher. So I'm just going to start right here, and I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to go up towards the top of my paper. And then when I bring them back down, I'm going to come back down like this with like a curve. Then I'm going to go straight out again and then come back with a curve. And I'm just going to kind of keep continuing this pattern and I'm going to make them a little bit smaller until I get right next to the body. 
I'm gonna draw another one here, just kind of go out like this, and then do the same thing with those big, long feathers. Now, we have our basic shape of our Akami, and now we just wanna come in here and add a few different little details on here. So, the first thing is I'm gonna extend this little line down a little bit. And then right in here, I'm going to add just a little black dot, and I'm just going to kind of add a little curved line right here. Then I'm going to add a couple little lines right by the eye. And then I'm going to make a little circle shape in here. I'm going to color in most of it and just leave a little bit white for the pupil. I'm going to make a little line that just kind of goes right around here, and it's just going to travel right along the edge of the mouth. It's going to come down and come over to here, so it kind of looks like a beak. I'm going to add a little broken line in there. I'm going to add a little longer line right here. And then on the horns of the Akami, I'm just going to add some quick little lines going all the way up. I'm going to add a couple little broken lines right down here. Then I'm just going to make some broken lines that just kind of go right along the body here. And I'm just going to kind of put these all over just to kind of add a little bit of texture and detail. A couple little extra lines right here just to kind of show where the body's kind of twisting and moving. I'm going to add just a couple little kind of long lines from these feathers that are just going to kind of go towards the top of the wing. And then I'm going to kind of add a few more kind of little like spike patterns over here just to make it look like it's got a lot of those like feathers and different things. And I'm going to come in here and add a few more just different little lines and kind of spikes just to make it look like it's really full. I'm going to add some extra little lines in here, make some even kind of stick out. And now the Akami has a lot of texture on it, but because we're going to be coloring this in, I'm not going to add all those different details and lines on there. But if you weren't going to color this in, what you could do is you can kind of just come in here and add some like different little dots and kind of bumps and just kind of random little places, put some of them closer together, some of them kind of farther apart. And this just kind of helps with a little bit of a scale pattern without sitting there and drawing every single little scale in here. If you want to do something like that, you definitely could, but... Just for the sake of time, I'm just going to kind of add some just little dots in here. Those are just some little techniques that you can try just to make it look a little bit more realistic and add some texture to it. And then you can come back in here and add just some little details wherever you want to onto the face and everything. And just kind of wherever you think might look kind of cool. But there you go. There is your drawing of an Akami. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.